So it's another day, it's Saturday, it's 10.42 and um, just a quick update, we're all hurriedly finishing off our jobs, uh, ready to go to sea today. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of, of what's all going on, um, but until we're actually out there, um, we are all sort of hurriedly working away so I can't um, take too much time out. So as you can see over here, Pete's digging away into the, the deck because everything on a boat is never an easy thing. So the uh, sockets, this particular one over here, are broken. Um, so I got some new, nice satin finish double sockets, but they're too large, the back plate here, for the hole. Hence, well, if this needs to happen for a simple socket change. Um, coming up here, it's still a disaster zone. Um, we've emptied the water tank, we're refilling the water tank, we've used the concentrated teak deck cleaner um, all around outside and now we're going to, that's been rinsed off and left and we're going to do later on the teak restorer which is this stuff <coughs> or renovator, um, I thoroughly recommend this. Um, you have a green one and a red one. Put the red one on to clean this. Brings it nicely up. But before we do that, and because it is still wet at the moment, we've got to sand the decks. Not much, but just enough from just the forward area here. Because the caulking is just a tiny bit proud. So um, the stern sun deck area has been done previously, this hasn't. So we're just going to give it a light sanding, sorry about the wind. Uh, we're sort of an 80 grit paper and then we'll put the renovator on, rinse off and it should look all lovely and honey and protected, the colour of the wood I mean. We're going to check our anchor now. We got in trouble with my neighbour because we obviously moved our boat gently over to test the rib and um, he came this morning and gave me a right bollocking and uh, so we are now moved back over again and we haven't tested the rib so what we're going to come and do later or before we sail is bring the boat round to this pontoon over there and just see if we can actually launch the rib because we don't know if it works um, by doing that uh, so general wash down of the decks, all of the fenders have been removed and cleaned. Um, the new life raft is um, being put, put up on its uh, mount up on the flybridge but we need another actual stainless mount because the new six man life raft is slightly taller than the old one so it doesn't securely fit so it's temporarily secured at the present time. Uh, what else? have we been doing? Uh, I can't remember, it's all so much going on all at once. <laughs> I'll take you up here. So we can't fit the LED spread the lights because the stainless steel that we need is too wide so we're going to have that fabricated up in Norfolk by someone we've used previously. Uh, we've got to put oil in the rib, that's the new life raft. Um, as you can see the, the things are too um, short to fit over. Um, there's a double weatherproof socket to go here. Um, I'm not sure, this normally obviously has a cover over it and I'm aware that all of this stuff is waterproof. I'm not sure if the VHF handset is, but uh, whatever. It's, it's buggered anyway, it needs replacing. The reason why is the lower helm one, when you just put it near the cradle, for some reason, almost in it, it starts transmitting. So you can't turn the VHF on with the handset in the cradle, it will just start transmitting put it on the helm, it's fine. And then you just use the push to talk button. So it's old, fed up with it, it's going, but we haven't got the time now to be doing that. So it works as radio, plus because we've got our backup radios. 
it's this bit pointed on. So, um. Sorry? Yeah. Robin? Yeah. You know those two bits of teak? Yeah. One of which Pete's cut up? Yeah. I've found where they live. Oh, right. Or where they should live. <laughs> right. One of which is never ever going to live there again because it's now been cut short. Yeah, yeah. The other one can go back where it should be. Right. It's not detrimental and going to cause you an issue. Do you want to come and have a look? Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not taking my boots off, I'm going back on that bed. Yeah. But you see those slats there? Yeah. There's a groove, there's a frame down either side. And you put them in at the top and slide them down. So it's a safety to stop the chain coming this way and banging the back of the door. Right. They can see where the individual ones are, they lift out. Yeah. So the two more should have been two on top of them, slid down. Right, okay. So that's where they've come from. Right. One of them Pete's going to put back in and raise it up another bit, but because of the height of the chain, just one more will suffice. Yeah, yeah. So, For what I would say is, where the teak is now, in the window, is a better place than in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got away with that, you've got to get out of the jail car free there. Right, have you put the breakers on for the windlass, please? Uh, I'm going to do that now. You mean you haven't done it yet? No. They should, is it, is it live? Hang on, I checked. Yeah. Yep. Hold on, let me just see if the indoor one does. Nothing. No. Okay, that <laughs> tells another story then because yeah, not made a no, it's because the, the upper helm one's broken. You've got to watch this. If you just let it run. Yeah. There's a danger of that going over, swinging back and clouting the bow. Yeah. So you've got to do it gently. Like that. See how it swung there? Yeah, yeah. But because I was doing it controlled, instead of it And I want to see, you said there's a chain counter, where's that? No, that's on the helm. Right. There it is. Right, it's marked. A fathom. That should be. Right. If I don't know how they've marked it up, we're in. Navy, one of them, not a fathom, sorry, a cable. don't know what length they are between the markers. We just don't know. So that's the job we're going to do. Not today. Yeah. All we need to know is that this works. So if we get an issue out there, we can drop the anchor and hold ourselves yeah. while we sort the issue out. Right. And these need cleaning with a bit of... So this operates from here. You need to see if it operates from the upper helm. That's broken. The switch? Yeah, gone completely. It's gone, smashed. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't work from the inner helm? No, which is probably connected and why the smashed ones. Oh, well, that's alright, as long as we know. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're Vetus, um, they're 40 quid each, so it's not the end of the world. I need to hold wash this chain off as it comes in. Yeah. Can you bring the holes up, please, Brian? Otherwise, we're Oh, and a bit of green pad. And a green pad as well, please. You want to watch that? <laughs> Which one? That step has been there all the time, you know. Oh, that one. <laughs> you know Do why it. that was an issue? Because the step's bigger than our Brian. <laughs> <laughs> and you need an air cut. Indeed, I do.
Side, that side. Right, they're all on it. So what we're going to take to see with us is the long F1s, the big, oh, well, long it? slim ones. All those we'll take with us because we need enough for both sides of the lock just to fend off as we go through. And obviously once we leave here we've got to transfer them onto the starboard side to moor up on that there pontoon so we can do the rip. Can I take this one back on? Yeah, yeah any please. of those big ones no, want to be on. There's only one big one. There's one inside that needs a, a bit of strength.
see we're doing the trials. I brought her out of uh, the lock and uh, we're doing, um, what are we doing? Nine knots at the moment exactly. There's a big one. Um, so I can't really take the camera out up there because obviously you can see the amount of uh, water that we're getting at the moment. But uh, we'll take you up to the sun deck. Oh. Try and hold on to something. <laughs> so there's Charlie Griffin. And uh, this is the conditions we're in today. Traders should have stabilizers. They roll a lot. We've got an 11, 12 foot swell today. We're going to like this one here. Down on the other side. We've got the rim upstairs, we've got the train, but she's taking it beautifully. Didn't quite hear what I said. I said that traders 535s, they said to be incredibly rolly. There goes a lot of stuff. Right. We're going to stop filming now and uh, we lost a lot of glasses and stuff uh, down inside. Here, but we're uh, I've done some filming on my mobile. We're now into a lot calmer. We got the lock here. Yeah. Doing the speed trial now. and headwind 15.8 knots 3000 rpm Kayakers on your port side. Kayakers port side.
day tomorrow. So this is live streaming uh, on my Facebook page. We're on Independence doing our sea trials. Uh, we had the, uh, the, the rolling around. Now we're doing a following sea speed test. We've had a uh, 12, 13 foot swell. Conducting uh, sea trials in Independence off of Plymouth, we're doing a following sea speed test. Hello? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm at sea. Alright, I'm live on Facebook. Bye. I've had a phone call, Mom's Technology and everything. 